All right, you guys, anything possible that could have gone wrong this past week did go wrong, but it's okay. I'm back, I'm here. I'm gonna update you guys on everything today. What's up? Thank you so much for just coming back for another video. It's always so appreciated. Today we're gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me. It's actually been a hot, hot minute. I can't even remember when's the last time I did one of these, um, but I have to do like pretty minimal glam today. I'm gonna go out and run some errands with my son later, and then he has tutoring and basketball, so I figured I'm gonna get ready anyways. I might as well get ready and chat with you guys. These are actually some of my favorite videos that I like watching from other YouTubers just because it's really casual. We're just like sitting down chatting together. Um, and a lot of you have wanted updates since I haven't uploaded. I told you on Instagram some shit happened on the way home from my flight this past weekend. You guys know I went to Colorado with my brother and my dad and my son and my dad's girlfriend and her kids for the weekend, which was super fun. But the end of the trip was really stressful and I just wanted to update you guys today on everything, on moving, so many things that you guys keep asking. And then tomorrow I will have a new vlog up as well. So be sure that you're subscribed. I'm kind of just gonna walk you through like quickly what I'm doing for my face today as well. I'm gonna do a pretty like minimal quick routine. I'm just gonna prime really quick with the Maybelline baby skin. Um, so yeah, on the way home from my trip, I said on Instagram that something like sad happened or tragic. I mean, it's tragic to me. Um, I did lose my ID and also my MacBook. Pro, which has my entire personal life, my entire business on it, pictures of when we first got Sadie when she was a baby, so many pictures of Christian, um, everything having to do with me running my social media academy with my Boss Babe Academy students, all of my video trainings, my eBooks, everything was on that computer. So once we landed and I realized that I left it in my seat pocket, um, which was totally my fault, I'm not saying someone took it or anything, um, literally right after I exited the plane, I realized that I left it in the front of my seat. There's like a little pouch where they put the emergency like pamphlets and stuff. I tucked my laptop in there. I immediately told them and asked if I could go back on the plane and walk back down the terminal into the plane. And I was like, hey, I know where I left it. Let me go get it and go find it. They're like, no, 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 the plane is fully, um, everyone has already exited the plane. We have to board the next flight. Like you cannot go back on. And I was like 10 feet away. I was about to like push through this lady and be like, yo, let me walk back down this little terminal. I know where it is, let me get it. But the airline people insisted. They're like, no, we're the only people that can go back and look for it. I'm like, okay, so they had two separate people go back and look in my exact aisle where I was sitting and they said they didn't find it and nothing was there. Even though 10 minutes prior, I was sitting on the plane with my laptop right there. Like I'm 100% positive it was there. So maybe when the plane got cleaned out, someone took it or I still have no idea. Um, so we waited for like two hours after we got off the plane, talked to everyone, talked to like baggage claim, lost and found, and it is nowhere to be found. They said if they find it within the next seven to 14 days, they'll let me know. Um, but you know, obviously with my business, I need a computer today, right now, so I can upload, I can, like I said, do everything for my business online. Luckily my mom and also my assistant do have, of course, copies of my eBooks and all the passwords and all my information so I can restart everything on a new computer. Not everything is like lost, but I still don't wanna like permanently lose that laptop because I have so many photos on there and just personal information that I wouldn't want anyone else to get. So it is very sad. Um, we spent, yeah, like hours after we landed trying to find it and, they just wouldn't let me back on there and they said it's not there, so no luck. Um, but that was pretty sad. I know you guys were all looking forward to a Colorado vlog. I do still have some footage on my SD card because I didn't lose that. So I think I'm gonna go tonight actually to Best Buy to get a new computer. Um, so I will still have some vlog footage of Colorado, whatever I have on this SD card, because I filmed on two different ones. Um, so that is still coming up, but yeah, that was pretty, you know, Pretty sad, I mean money can can buy you another one, it's not that, it's more of like the photos and everything that I had and I would never want someone to find that computer and like hack into it and get all of my personal, like Christian's baby stuff, it just makes me emotional, so it was sad, but it's okay, it wouldn't be me, right, if I didn't go on a trip and like lose something or have something crazy happen. So I'm just going in with the Milani 2-in-1 um, full coverage foundation, I love this, it's like my favorite drugstore foundation, this is just the Real Technique sponge. Um, so a lot of you keep asking about moving since I let you know we did go ahead and get our dream home when we're going to be moving. Um, the other day I actually officially signed the papers for my contract for that home and then I also signed the papers to officially leave this current place and give my notice. So we're going to be moving. We have the movers on December 1st, um, but I also have the keys to both places for like a week, a full week so I can move slow if I need to. But on December 1st I have a moving company who's going to come and move like my big furniture and um, just help me with everything that day and I'm just gonna pack like some smaller stuff up in my car and like help however much I can. Um, and then I should be fully out of this place by like December 7th or December 8th and I am so excited. So many of you on Instagram said you would really like videos of me decorating the new place and how I'm gonna decorate, what I'm gonna do for my son's room. You want like videos of me decorating for Christmas and 
Don't you worry, you don't even gotta tell me. I am super excited to share with you guys all of my decorating. I know that you wanna see that and I wanna film that, so I can't wait. I don't think I'm gonna go like decor shopping until I actually am in the new place because if I purchase a bunch of stuff now, I'm just gonna have to put it in boxes and I have to like take it with me when I move and that's gonna make a whole extra hassle. So once I'm in there, maybe like the first week of December, I will take you with me to TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all that stuff, and we'll buy a bunch of like um, Christmas decor. I do have some leftover from last year that I'm gonna put up, but you know mama's gonna want a few new things. So of course I will take you guys with me. I see those requests. Next, I'm just going in with this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm not gonna do too much today. Um, I also just wanted to address something really quick about the house. I've seen some comments lately. Uh, per usual, my comment section is like, I would say, you know, like always like 95% positive. You guys are extremely supportive and that's why I've kept it a priority to respond to comments for all these years because I feel like we're such a tight knit community. But you know, every once in a while people have their opinions and you know, some people won't be rude. But I have seen some comments lately of like, um, why are you renting a house? You always said you wanted to buy a house. You don't make as much money as you say you do. Stop lying, otherwise you'd buy a house. You're fake, like all this stuff. And I just, you know, I don't have to address everything that's not true, just kind of let it fly over. But I did want to mention, I told you guys I want to move to OC or up more towards LA because there's more business opportunities uh, with YouTube and growing and social media and PR and marketing. My brother lives up there and that's still 100% true. So why would I buy a home down here right now if eventually I want to move up there? It doesn't make any sense. It has nothing to do with how much money I make. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever like come out and said I have this much in the bank, blank in the bank. So I don't know how I could have like lied about that. I have shared on Instagram how much I've made um, a few different months when I've had like social media launches and stuff. Not to brag or anything, but just to help inspire you guys that if you work really hard and you launch your own programs and stuff, you can make an incredible living on social media. I'm trying to like help inspire other female entrepreneurs and single moms and that's the only reason I ever like have mentioned, I guess, how much I make. Um, but some people are like, yeah, if you make that much, you would have bought that house. True, I mean, I can, you know, only I know, and my CPA know like what I make and what I have in the bank. Yes, I still wanna purchase a home, you guys know this, it's always been a goal of mine. Um, this home right now is a rent to buy, which I told you guys, it's a military family, so I'm renting for this first year. Um, if I decide I wanna stay down in this area after that and they are permanently relocated, um, I believe they're going to Hawaii, so I think they're gonna find out within this next year if they're gonna get permanently relocated there and then if they put this house on the market, I will be first in line to buy it. So at that point, if I wanna buy it, I can. I can decide to stay in my current local town you know, for however long we wanna stay in the home or I can still buy it and I can rent it out, I can flip it, I can use it as an investment property and still move up to LA. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know, of course, buying a home is still a super awesome goal that I have. I'm not letting go of that goal. Uh, but for the moment, renting just for one more year, that's not a bad thing, you know? It's still a huge accomplishment for me to be able to rent this caliber of a home and get approved all by myself just with my social media pay. I'm still super proud of myself. Um, you know, I know buying is the ultimate goal and I'm not losing sight of that. But everything in the right time, you know, I've had to save up and yeah, better my credit a lot, which you guys know, and do everything all on my own. So. Um, Christian and I have been through like four different apartments and to even just be able again to rent this house It's such a nice beautiful like dream house. It's still like such an accomplishment for me So I don't know. I know some of y'all are salty that I'm not purchasing it right this minute But I'm still proud of myself. I'm still excited I'm not gonna let anyone take away my joy of moving into this place and making it a super fun experience and decorating and Yeah, I just hope you guys are excited with me and you want to see the videos of like yeah, how I decorate and kind of what I do with the space. Um, and I'm just so excited. We have like two weeks and I'll be in there. All right, so I did go ahead and set my whole face with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is in the color 222. She gives me a pretty like matte finish, pretty full coverage look. I love this powder because it's so affordable. Um, next, I'm just gonna go in with the e.l.f. liquid lipstick called T-Rose. A lot of you have been asking on Instagram and Snapchat what liquid lip I've been wearing, and this is all I wear, like, every day. Um, since I've been really cleaning out my apartment to move, I have decluttered so much makeup. I threw away so many liquid lipsticks, donated a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. Like, my makeup collection is very, very small right now, and I'm okay with that. I'm not obsessed anymore with buying every new collection and having everything in excess. I am totally fine just with like, for Colorado, I took this one makeup bag with my daily essentials and that was it. Um, so I don't even own like too much of a variety of makeup anymore and that's fine with me, but you guys know I love drugstore makeup and recommending affordable stuff. So this is in the color 811 T-Rose. I got it at CVS, I believe. I know you're supposed to do your lips like very, 
as like the very last step when you're doing your makeup but for me once I do foundation I feel like my lips get totally washed out and they look white and they just look gross so I'll just get a little bit of color on here um, before we come on what is that before we move on to the eyes again with the eyes I'm probably just gonna go like super basic I'm just running errands with Christian today not doing anything crazy and I usually always layer this Milani gloss on top of any lip color I'm wearing it's called prismatic peach uh, Milani I usually find at Walmart or CVS this is just a really pretty like shimmer topper you can wear over any kind I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quick as well this is the Koki angled brush from what is it from Rite Aid I believe and this is just like an elf pomade I'm telling you guys literally everything I use for my makeup now is so affordable like $10 max or like $12 max per product. I'm so into drugstore beauty lately just with wanting to save to purchase a lot of stuff for the new house. Um, I really want to get Christian a badass swing set for the backyard. I've been looking for a bunch. I posted something on Instagram and you guys gave me some suggestions of where to buy one. You can easily find a swing set online for like little kids, but since he's going to be six, I want something like a little bit more advanced with like ropes and maybe like a tree house. Um, so I think I'm going to look at Sam's Club. I know this is kind of off topic, but Christian and I are so excited to just like decorate the backyard and I think I'm going to try and get a little doghouse back there for Sadie. I'm just trying to envision um, like the space I have and how I want to decorate it. Okay, browser on, super easy. I don't even know if I'm going to do eyeshadow today. I might just leave it like this. Literally just going to go in with a tiny bit of this like banana color on my eyes and just going to leave it at that because... I have no reason for, to get my eyes all crazy glam today. Um, what else was I going to update you guys on? New house on December 1st. Um, oh, I do have um, some fitness vlogs coming up. I know a lot of you have wanted more meal prep, fitness content. I know I used to do so much of that. I'll be really honest with you guys. Something has been going on with me for the past two months that I am not going to talk about on YouTube. I'm pretty open with you guys about literally everything, but I'm just going to keep this to myself, and it has been affecting my stomach. And... Um, I think I told you guys before, I've had some pretty severe sub stomach issues my whole life. Whether it's I've been in, uh, diagnosed incorrectly with IBS or whatever the case may be, we're finally coming to like a resolution here, but it has definitely halted my weight loss. Um, not using that as an excuse, but I haven't gained any weight and I haven't lost any weight the past like two months, I would say. But we're finally coming, I really feel like I'm coming into a time right now, <laughs> excuse me, with my body where everything is like regulating itself back out and I am really really feeling a desire to get super back on my fitness grind like meal prep I meal prep now but like every so often like every week like filming my workouts for you guys I genuinely miss that because fitness really is a passion for me and I know a lot of you are here for the fitness content so you can expect a lot of that um, very very soon I'm not gonna wait till January 1st to be like oh new me like I'll definitely put up fitness stuff in December in November I actually just ordered three new outfits from just fab or no Fabletics as well which is Kate Hudson's workout line so be sure you're subscribed here to the channel if you want to see me try on all of those I'll give you a full honest review of how the quality is I can even like wear the outfit to the gym and do a workout for you and see how it holds up with sweat I think I should be getting those outfits in the mail like in less than a week so that is coming up ASAP um, and then yeah, pretty much um, later tonight I'm gonna go to Best Buy and get a new computer So I'll be finishing up the vlog that I have on deck Which I hope to get live on my channel tomorrow for you guys So I hope you enjoyed this video just a little quick chit chat update I really appreciate you guys being here stay tuned for the next vlog and the fitness stuff You can always leave in the comments any other requests that you have as well And I just really appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a great break Thanksgiving break if you're already on break holiday all that jazz And I'll see you guys in my next video